Hi, I'm Father Scott Ruthven, and uh, I've been in the diocese for many, many years. I was born and raised in Los Alamos at Trinity on the Hill, left New Mexico as quickly as I possibly could, and got back to New Mexico as quickly as I possibly could. And so this is my diocese um, from, from cradle to, I hope, the casket. Um, and so I've been appointed as the, as the dean of the Bishop's School for Ministry. Now, you may think, well, we've just come up with this. Well, we haven't. It's been around for 50 plus years. Started out as the Bishop Stoney School for Ministry way back. And in fact, uh, Padrecita Lutz is a graduate of that school. So we actually have lots and lots of, of deacon, deacon and priestly formation that have come out of diocesan formation. Now, what's different about what we're trying to produce um, in the Bishop School for Ministry? Number one, it's a name change. Nothing else. It's a name change. We're not Iona. We are now the Bishop School for Ministry because, because this diocesan formation comes directly under the bishop. It's his school. I'm running it for the bishop. And so that's important. Do we still use Iona? Yes, we do. What is Iona? Well, Iona is a program that um, Southwest Seminary in Austin, Texas, and the Diocese of Texas put together so that they could shape and mold diocesan formation for, for deacons and priests. Do we use their material? Yes, we do. What does that consist of? Very simply, it's, uh, it's videos that the um, that the professors at Southwest Seminary do for us. Um, and by the way, there's probably 29 to 30 dioceses in the Episcopal Church who are using this program right now. And so they are giving us um, master's level lectures. Then they prescribe for us the readings that we are to do, and we do those readings. Then we come together once a month for a full weekend, Friday night to Sunday afternoon, and we start, start connecting the dots. And that's the key. That's, that's what we're trying to, to, to shape and form in our deacons and priests at a diocesan level is how, how scripture functions, how church history functions, how theology functions um, in, in terms of, of parish life. Um, we are, we are making some changes in the Bishop School for Ministry, and I think they are really, really exciting. So we're going to come together, let's say in September, and, uh, and on Friday night, we're going to start, we're going to start helping you connect the dots with all the lectures that you've heard from Southwest Seminary and the reading that you've done. And then the, the mentors will, on this weekend, will, um, will give you lectures to help you fill in the places that Southwest Seminary didn't fill in because they don't have the time to fill in everything. So we are trying to give you a as full of an MDiv um, experience as you possibly can get. Now here's the big change. Every one of our students deacon, if you're pursuing the diaconate or you're pursuing priesthood, you are going to have a tutor. Now, this model comes directly out of Cambridge and Oxford, so we're not creating anything new, but in the United States model of education, we're doing something new. So what we're doing is we're, we're going to give you a tutor. You are going to meet with that tutor on Zoom um, probably twice a month. And that tutor is going to push you and, and begin to fill in the, 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 the holes that you still have and push you to think more deeply, more deeply than those of us who are your mentors can, can actually get you to do um, in any one month. So you're going to be hit from Southwest Seminary, 
books you're going to be reading that other MDiv students are reading also. And then you've got the mentors, and then you've got a tutor. And I think this is really exciting. I have talked with Southwest Seminary, and they are just, just excited as can be. And they're waiting for us to get our pilot done and, and see where the holes are in, the, in, in our program and how we can fill them, because we, they think, and as the bishop and I think, this may become the new model of diocesan formation. And we want you to be a part of that. Now, no, you're not going to get an accredited MDiv out of the Bishop School for Ministry. That's why we tend to be here for those of you who don't have the time or the money to go off to um, a three-year residential school. Uh, we will save you big bucks, but that's not the only reason. The other reason is the bishop gets to, to have hands-on more so than any uh, residential seminarian is going to get. He is going to have have hands on in helping to shape you in, in what he hopes um, the priests of this diocese will look like. That means we will have some real hands-on experience when it comes to borderland ministry. We will look at what it means to be a missionary diocese in this part of the world. Um, we will look at um, a liturgy um, and, 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 the, and you, in fact, let me back up a little bit. You will have one, uh, one Tuesday night a month with the bishop or the canon, and maybe somebody else, depending, that's the bishop's time with you, and it'll be on Zoom, and, uh, and it's his time to talk to you about whatever he wants to talk to you about, uh, and so I just think you're going to have so much bishop time that you're going to know his mind, and he's going to know your mind, and, and you're going to know exactly what he wants from you, and that is really, really an added benefit um, when you start looking at residential seminaries where you don't get almost any time with the bishop. You're going to have lots of time with the bishop and with the canon. What else can I tell you? Um, we function 10 months of the year, so September through June, you get July and August off, not really, but you technically, you don't come to any classes, um, but we've got stuff for you to do. So we're always working, we're always uh, filling your mind with good stuff, trying to help you connect the dots so that you can, can step into the councils of the church with confidence. You're not a second-class deacon. You're not a second-class priest. When you get out of the Bishop School for Ministry, you will step into those councils with confidence because you will know what you need to know to be a good priest or a good deacon. Hey, this is exciting stuff, and I hope it, this will clarify where we are in this process of uh, not only your discernment, but, um, but the process of being educated, shaped, formed for priestly and diaconal ministry. Thank you for this time. I really appreciate it. And I hope I've clarified some stuff that we really need to get clarified in the diocese. Thank you. Trust the work, trust the smoke, trust the smoke. Trust the soul.